We got Dan Hewling here on his first world team. How does it feel? Uh, it feels awesome. Uh, uh, it's funny because, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, you know, last year, does this make up for last year? I mean, last year you went with the big move with FAM and sort of really paid the price. Yeah. Um, have you been thinking about that a lot for the last year? Uh, no, I, I'm pretty good with forgetting stuff. Like, right away, there was maybe 10 minutes last year, and I was standing in a field like, Oh man, I gotta wait four years for the next Olympic shot, but uh, I get over it pretty quick. I'm usually kind of good at that, not doing a lot of things. I just went over to Europe and, and we got the standard over there, which was doing well. And uh, so, um, not necessarily learning from last year. I would have liked to run like that this year, uh, but I was just kind of lacking a little bit of training. And, uh, so I just came up with uh, three laps to go and stay, stay committed. Uh, Fam always talks about that, just like stay committed to your plan no matter what the race is or no matter what the pace. And uh, sometimes you'll get rewarded, other times you know, it's not so good, but uh, it felt good. So you, you said you are a little bit disappointed after Priest, or I mean, how would you have rated your confidence coming into this meet? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't good after pre. Uh, like pretty much, I've gotten in the past week. Uh, I went and ran at 1500 and uh, ran okay there. I went out in like 26 seconds, but managed to run a semi decent time. And I was like, all right, I'm kind of where I was last year. And uh, like when I can start clicking 15s, is when I can run a steeple. Uh, so uh, I was going to the prelims, kind of like uh, if I do well, and I felt really good. And that actually made me more nervous because I felt so good. Like. Kind of a pessimist, so like if I think I should be up there, it's it's kind of bad for me. I, I get too nervous, you know, sitting in my hotel room, and heart's like fluttering, and I'm just trying to think of you know, stuff. And so, what advice would you give to someone? I mean, I guess what two, five years ago you were an 858 guy, now you're going to Worlds. What's the key to success? Uh, I mean, uh, consistent training's nice. Uh, I really haven't had that, but when I can get some weeks, it's good. Uh, but uh, just like, like my support system is just fantastic. I mean, like my parents all through college, you know, like drive me around to meets when I didn't have an indoor program and got a great coach and great training partner. Um, and uh, I mean, God's just really blessed me. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, just just some of the stuff he's got me through just this year and uh, and last summer too. And uh, so I'm just really glad. I'm so happy. <laughs>